We are a chosen generation Called for to show His excellence hey. All I require for life God has given me And I know who I am hey. Hello everybody, it's Tandi Wegaya coming back with another word from the Lord. I am super excited, guys. I get so, 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 so excited when I hear from the Lord. It's like the most important, the most high has spoken to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yay. Okay, so it's like, like he's like the ultimate celebrity, guys. So I get so excited. Excuse me. Right, here's the word. Let's go straight to it. He says, I am raising up the rejected, the broken, the discarded and disregarded to be my ministers. Those who have been refined in my fire, purified by my hand and who have walked steadfastly with me daily. Those who suffered but chose to cling to me in spite of it. They will go and change the world. I will equip them and provide for them more than they can imagine. I will make their way prosperous. I will cover them and protect them. They are my elect. These are the ones I have redeemed out of the hand of the devil, and I am vindicating them for such a time as this. These are they who sowed in tears and have not turned away from me. They shall inherit the earth because they carry my love, which is mercy, grace, goodness, kindness, peace, and hope to all the nations. And this is the scripture that I felt in my spirit as I received that word. It's Romans 8, verse 28 to 30, and this is from the New International Version. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For, the, for those God foreknew... <laughs> Got it. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. That is such a beautiful, beautiful word. It filled me with so much excitement. Um, so just, just to expound on that, he's just crowning you right now. God says that he's crowning you. He's giving you a new assignment and he's actually right now dispatching the orders for you to go out and fulfill the mission. So um, just in terms of the crowning, a scripture that came up um, while I was um, thinking about that was Matthew 5. Um, well, it's a bit of a long passage. Matthew 5 verse 3 to 10 and also New International Version. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Oh my! Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of Yah. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I just love that. That really touched me. He said that you might experience some anxiety, and he's saying don't because you are ready. You are ready for this. You have been going through trials. You have been in that wilderness for months. And for many of us, it's been years of that wilderness experience. And now he's saying it is time for you, yes you, to possess your promised land. And I just want to encourage you by reading from Joshua, just with regards to possessing your promised land. So it's Joshua chapter 1, verses 5 to 9, still New International Version. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Mm, praise the Lord. Be strong and very courageous. 
Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right <laughs> or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then, <laughs> then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So right now, my Lord, my God, my King, Father Yah, I thank you. Oh, thank you for your royal priesthood, your chosen generation, your holy nation and your peculiar people. I bless each one right now on the assignment that you have given them. Thank you for the orders that you are dispatching for each one. I pray that you help us, Lord, to be strong and courageous and that you walk with us. Thank you that you walk with us. Thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us. I bless each one in your mighty name, Yahushua Messiah. Amen. Amen. Guys, remember, God is so good and you are special to him. I'm walking in power, working miracles, I live a life of favor. I know who I am, take a look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now, can you see his glory? I know who I am, say I know who I am. There's no shadow you won't lie.